Well, don't toss away your old suitcase. Recycle it to suit your garden. And Nick Federoff and Sandra Mitchell are in the garden to show you how to turn what used to be your luggage into a beautiful botanical piece of art. Hi, everybody. We're in the garden with our friend Nick Federoff from Things Green. Suitcase is packed. We're ready for summer vacation. Yes, we are. As a matter of fact, maybe we went someplace. Maybe mm, we went we to followed our travel and we followed. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I thought was really kind of a uh, fun thing is that I, I went online and I found that people get rid of suitcases all the time. Mm -hmm. And I thought being that here we are in summertime to go do certain things, why not capture that moment and bring it home? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I remember treasures. when I was a kid, I used to, I used to gather rocks and mm -hmm. sand and mm -hmm. stuff like Seashells. that. Seashells. Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. I never did anything with that stuff, but here we're going to make our travels come alive. Now, if you remember from last week, we did our little mm -hmm. travel travel, sign. travel yeah. sign right over here. So imagine if this did say, say uh, North Dakota, mm -hmm. or if this, if this said the beach, or whatever it may say. Mm -hmm. say. So uh, we're going to incorporate this within our suitcase planters. Okay. Now you can use any kind of suitcase. It really doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you use. Uh, this is an. This was my actual suitcase. This particular one, and it died on me and. and and so we can use something like that if we want to. Repurpose these. Or yeah, it's, it is repurposing. Or here we have this right here. It's nice and hard. Mm -hmm. But because it's so hard, I think what we have to do here first is to drill a couple of holes on okay. the bottom. So if you would take that and just drill a couple of holes, because we still need drainage. So, and so it doesn't that. matter where. Yeah, just go like right that. There you go. And just put it up. So let's just pretend we did a whole bunch of them on there bunch of for our drainage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we get to start planting. Okay. And I'm actually going to incorporate this within our landscape. I'm going to put it right in here. Mm -hmm. Now what we do is we get ourselves some soil. Okay. And just like a regular planter, let's fill it up. We're going to spill it up. So why don't you go ahead and smooth this out? Smooth that out just okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's just not enough. I hope right? you weren't planning on reusing this. No, no, no. You know, that's a good point. We're not. Uh, uh, we're not we are definitely not reusing. Don't use these. the good stuff. Okay, now, this right here was really important to me. I went uh, hiking with my son one time, and we ended up picking up a rock. Okay. So this is a sentimental rock for yeah. me. So I would like to. This is heavy. Let me pick it up here. We'll pick it up, <laughs> and I'm going to incorporate this within our landscape. Okay, see how that part is. Mm -hmm. Now, I was with my grandkids, mm -hmm. and we went for a walk at the park, and guess what we picked up? Oh, pretty little pine cones. Yeah, so wherever you would like the pine cones to be, okay. go ahead and put the pine cones in. Now, let's say, that, let's say that your travels this year ended up taking you to some place like Africa, really exotic, Ooh. right? Well, you're not going to be allowed to bring any plants back, mm. but think about this. Here we have an African purslane. Oh. Right. See where we're getting here? How about digging a hole right there? Okay. And we'll put this in. Now we've got plants and we've got life going on in here. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. yeah. See how it's starting so to nice. shape up? Yeah. So now we, we are just telling a story of our travels. Right in one suitcase. Right in one <laughs> suitcase. Let's just say, oh, you know what? I went to the I went to the woods and uh, and I went to the woods and and, and I, uh, you know, I got some branches from mm -hmm. the woods. Look at you getting all <laughs> fancy like that. And then we came across some almond trees. So we picked some almond trees on our, on our path. I bet okay. the squirrels are going to like this little guy. They really are. <laughs> oh, you know what else I forgot? There was a, there was a little river that we came across. Hmm. You see, and in this little river, we had a couple of boulders. Maybe what we did was we went, uh, so the whole idea behind here is that we're telling the story. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, maybe we also stopped off at a farm. <laughs> so you, what you do is you're telling a story. You can keep this in your landscape for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. You could remove the stuff as you need, and it just keeps on I'll going. Oh, by the out. way, by the way, while I was on the on the river, there was a frog. Big frog. So, <laughs> he's a big frog. He's as big as the tractor. <laughs> and then of course, you know, you, I, you have to have a garden gnome. So the bottom line over here is, is that you could really tell a fun story based on your travels. And then incorporating all this, and then if you wanted to, you can actually pick this up laminate some pictures and put some pictures so right clever. here you see so that really just goes on so if anybody wants any more information find me on facebook just type my name in or things green and i'm there just pretty much that simple